Low stretch versus medium high stretch aerial fabrics. What's the difference and which one do you choose and why? Today we're gonna look at the pros and cons and some of the differences between the two to help you make your decision. One very obvious difference is that the low stretch fabric is way easier to climb, especially if you're a beginner. The medium to high stretch takes a lot more effort for your climbs, and so this is definitely something to consider if you're starting out with aerial. Lack of the fabric able to stretch means that it will feel a little bit tighter on your body, especially in some wraps in different positions. This is very noticeable when you're doing drops. Drops are the main differences between the fabrics and why many professionals use the medium to high stretch fabric. In a medium to high stretch fabric, you're gonna get a lot more give and a lot more rebound. So when you do a drop, it's gonna be a lot cushier and a lot less bruises. Some people prefer this and that's ultimately why they choose the high medium stretch over the low stretch. I personally still prefer the low stretch and we'll just take the bruises over the uh, more difficult way to climb up. We're gonna do a test here of the difference between the medium high stretch and the low stretch. The purple silk is going to be our low stretch fabric today and the red silk is our medium uh, high stretch. Uh, it is more on the medium side for this uh, fabric, just from the supplier that I bought it from. There are way stretchier silks, but uh, I actually got rid of all of my stretchy silks um, not that long ago. Um, I'm definitely very pro low stretch, but don't let that influence your opinion. With this slacked drop, as you can see on the low stretch fabric, the impact is a lot more direct. There's no rebound, it's a lot harsher, definitely um, prone to getting more bruises with the low stretch fabric. But I like the low stretch fabric because you know where you stand, you know how far you're gonna come down and you know that you're gonna land it pretty hard. So I just like to keep my body nice and tight and prepare for that. With the medium stretch fabric, you can see there's a lot more give, a little bit cushier on the landing, a little bit more of a rebound, just more comfortable in general in these drop positions, which is definitely one of their biggest benefits. Another difference worth noting between low fabric and medium high stretch fabric is the width of the fabric. The low stretch fabric is a lot wider and a lot more to uh, grab onto with the, with the fabric. You're looking at usually between 105 and 120 in, inches wide, whereas with a medium to low stretch, you're looking at more at a 60 inches wide. So a little less um, silk to hold onto there, but, uh, and a little bit harder to climb. So uh, again, personal preference. Some people don't like the low stretch because they think it's a handful. Some people don't like the medium to high stretch because there's not enough to grip onto. Another difference worth noting is that the low stretch fabric is a little bit more restrictive when you're moving around in there. Uh, so you have a lot more give with the medium to high stretch fabric, which can be really noticeable in more flexible poses. With more flexible uh, skills, the medium to high stretch is a lot more forgiving and gives a lot more room to really press down into the skill or open it out. The low stretch fabric, you're really resisting against the fabric because there's not as much give in the fabric. So I find that low stretch, that is one of the biggest drawbacks is that it's a little bit more constrictive and your flexi poses don't look as good on the low stretch compared to medium high stretch. You may have heard that professionals choose to use a medium or high stretch fabric whilst beginners start with a low stretch fabric. While that's not necessarily untrue, it's not always the case. I ultimately think that it is personal opinion on which fabric that you prefer working on and it is a good idea to try uh, different kinds of fabric to find the one that you ultimately love. It is worth noting that the low stretch fabric will still have a little bit of give in it. It's not completely stretch free and the medium to high stretch can vary depending on which supplier you tend to go with. So with the climbs, you can see with the purple silk, a lot easier to climb, a lot easier to get height faster and a lot less effort and grip to climb up the silk. With the red silk, it takes a little bit longer to get off the ground. I feel like I'm working a little bit harder with the grip. It definitely feels like more of an effort to climb up here. However, if you are used to working on a medium to high stretch fabric, climbing a low stretch fabric will feel like an absolute breeze. 
It is worth noting that for width, uh, low stretch is preferable for disciplines like aerial hammock or if you're doing aerial yoga, the, there's a lot more width in the hammock so that when you open it out, it completely covers your body. And also just from setting it up for aerial yoga, there's not as much stretch so when you press down to set your height or your height for your students. Um, it, it, it doesn't change with the high to medium stretch when you press down you're going to lose a lot of height there which can make it more difficult for setting up for classes so I definitely would recommend low stretch for aerial yoga or aerial hammock. So ultimately there are pros and cons of using either the low or the high medium stretch fabric. It's completely up to you depending on which supplier that you buy your fabrics from will also depend on like how much stretch they have so that's worth noting as well. I personally buy all of my low stretch fabrics from Celtex Fabrics in LA. I've been buying off them for 10 years and I find the quality extremely great and a lot of colors to choose from. And uh, yeah, just a really great product. So that's where I personally buy all of my fabrics. This red medium stretch fabric is one of the first fabrics I actually ever had. I got it when I was living back in the UK. I got it from Fire Toys. If you're located in Canada, another really place, great place to get aerial fabrics is Jungle Gear. Uh, they have medium and low stretch on their website as well. So ultimately, the choice is yours. I hope you find this video helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and let us know in the comments below whether you decided to go with low stretch or medium high stretch. See you next time.